What's up? Welcome to another Battle Arena Battle Report. We've got Narek Drago, a Forge World event exclusive miniature, versus a another event exclusive Forge World Cataphracty Terminator Praetor. So Narek Drago is about 30 less points, 135 for the Iron Warriors, and of course in the actual game he's got a load of different rules that would affect the rest of the army. So um, he's got this thing where whatever he shoots at a unit of uh, Battle Automata that he's with get to shoot with preferred enemy. So. Um, most of his rules aren't necessarily to do with one-on-one -on -one combat, but here we go. I found very few models can actually stand up against the Terminator Praetor because most of the power weapons are AP3 and all the rest of it. So, Narek Drago is weapon skill, ballistic skill 5, strength 4, toughness 4, 3 wounds, initiative 5, 3 attacks, leadership 9, 2 plus save, artifacts for armor, refractor field, which is a fire weapon vulnerable, mastercrafter bolt pistol, power fist, cortex control, and a cortex designator, which is a... a the thing that lets the battle automata fight off against each other. So, uh, get preferred enemy against whoever Narek shot at, basically. So the Praetor is the red dice to go first. Right, Praetor goes first, moves up six, fires the combi Volkite hitting on a two, re-rolling, wounding on a three, wounds, two plus armor save, save. Now, not going to try and charge. Narek Drago moves up six, fires the Mastercrafter Bolt Pistol, hits, wounding a four, nothing, six inch charge, makes it. Now they're both um, at the same initiative because he's got the power fist so we're going to do Narek Drago's ones first. He's got four attacks, hitting on fours, two hits, wounding on twos, two wounds. Now the Cataphractic Terminator Praetor has got four up and vulnerable and it's instant death because he's strength eight. Makes him, second one, ah <laughs> dies, there you go. Right so he's provisionally dead but gets his four attacks. Uh, hitting on threes, wounded on twos. There you go, three wounds. So Narek Drago, if he fails any of them, he's dead because it's strength eight. Uh, five plus invulnerable. Makes it. Makes it. Ah, there you go, dead. Dead on the last wound. So they kill each other, so that's a draw. We'll keep doing it. If it keeps drawing two or three times, um, we'll go back and whoever, you know, whoever wins one, or just declare it a draw if they go three times each. So, red dice for the Praetor again. Right, Narek Drago goes first, moves up six, fires a pistol, mastercrafted, hits, wounds on a four. Wounds, two up arm save. Fine. So, the wounds aren't really going to matter unless they take one to the little combat thing because everything's instant death. So, 12 inch charge, guy can't overwatch because slow and purposeful, fails. Praetor moves within six, fires the combi Volkite, hits, no wounds, six inch charge, uh, makes it, overwatch from the uh, Narek Drago, Mastercrafted. I need to check that out. Was Mastercrafted let you re-roll the hit? I don't know. On Overwatch. Anyway, he's in combat, so going at the same time, just he gets one extra attack, so he's got five. Again, this is simultaneous, so if either of them die, we'll still get their attacks off. Hitting on threes, wounding on twos, three wounds. So, any of these failed, and he's over. Really dead. There you go. Right, so he failed two out of three, so he's dead. But gets his three attacks off first. Hitting on fours. Wounded on two. So a four up invulnerable. If this is failed, it's a draw. And if he makes it on a four up, then the Praetor wins the first round. Oh, there you go. Right, so one to the Terminator Praetor. So this is pretty much. Um, Sudden, why not sudden death? If uh, Narek Drago wins, we'll go to a, a fourth round after one draw and one win for the Praetor. If the Praetor wins, he wins overall. So, red dice, see the Praetor goes first. Narek goes first. Moves up six, so he's 12 inches away. Fires the Mastercrafter Bolt Pistol. Hits. Wounds on a four. Wounds. Two plus save. Makes it. 12 inches away. He's going to try the charge. Nothing. Uh, and one of my other bat reps, Gozar, made that. Uh, Tyranid Broodlord made that with... Um, Fleet because he could re-roll. So Terminator Praetor's turn, moves up six inches away, fires the combi Volkite, hits, wounds on a three, two plus armor save, makes it. Six inch charge, there's in again, an overwatch with a Mastercrafter bolt pistol. I'm gonna give him the re-roll for Mastercrafter, doesn't matter. Praetor, five attacks on a charge, hitting on threes, wounded on twos. So, three wounds. Again, five up save from the refractor field. Dead. Saved. And saved. 
would have been a bit more dramatic if it rolled them first. So he's dead, uh, and again, attacking at the same time. So he gets his three attacks back, in on fours. Wounded on twos. Two wounds. Now, four up save for the Praetor. Makes it, and makes it. There you go. So Terminator Praetor wins 2 0 and a draw. Now, Dragor is 30 points less, so um, that really makes sense. And like I said, a lot of his special rules and his points would be for the other stuff that he does in the game. You can get his rules free on forgeworld.co.uk. So, that's pretty much it. Just for watching. We've got uh, three or four more of these coming up. Really enjoying playing the odd little battles. But like I said, it's quite unrealistic because like, they'd never really get on these one-on-one -on -one things or without cover and stuff. So, check back soon. Cheers for watching.